is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition figure review on the final piece of our WWE Mattel crowdfunding project. We have the WWE Ultimate Edition Macho Madness Ultimate Edition Macho Man Randy Savage right here. Man, if you guys are wondering what this is, this is the shipper that it comes in. You also notice that the Ultimate Edition logo is definitely not center, if you guys can see that right here. But it does come in this brown shipping box. It's got the classic blue block logo over here and then it does have the ultimate edition nothing else on it but it is sealed up and taped up if you guys were wondering i did get two of these this is the probably the lesser like i, I probably won't even remove it from the shipper I don't, I don't know what i'll do with it but i did want to review this piece as it is the final piece to that ultimate edition crowdfunding new generation arena and i can't wait to get into it man we're going to break down all the details get into the accessories of everything but let's crack him out of the shipper and then we'll take a closer look at the packaging itself all right guys so here is the main packaging for the ultimate edition mod Show. a really good looking mock figure I think that so many accessories are in this thing that it kind of fills up the window nicely we do know that there's extras in the back I do believe at least I hope so but here it is it's got more of the fan takeover style in the red main color with the white accents it says Macho Man Randy Savage you have your front viewing window here all of your accessories like we mentioned WWE Ultimate Edition Mattel logo Macho Man on the side with his checkerboard unit you got the block logo up top down here Macho Man Randy Savage on the back you get a shot of the figure Macho Man Randy Savage, block logo again, some bio read, another shot of the beautiful man there. Really gotta say, since it's supposed to be like iridescent and then it's not iridescent, it's just black and white, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's gonna take away from the figure, but if you guys would like to read the little bio thing, you can do so now. But that is our packaging for our Macho Man Randy Savage, man. Let's crack him out, find out what he's about, see the accessories you get with this, and I do believe we're going to look at it in the new generation arena, or at least, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll look at it. Maybe I can put the, the entrance here with the figure. We'll, we'll see about it. Arena's kind of a mess with all the mess we've been getting. But let's crack out Macho Man, find out what he's about. Again, you can't get this anywhere but the aftermarket because, uh, you, you know, it was a crowdfunding project. But let's crack out Macho Man and find out what we got. All right, guys, so here is Macho Man out of his packaging spinning around, and he looks pretty daggum good over there, man. I'm really liking it. There are some things about the figure I don't really care for. However, I like it. I think you get a, a lot of stuff with this, man. You really, really do. You, you just wait until we get into it, man. It's kind of ridiculous, all the stuff you get with this. But for the price point that we paid, which I don't even remember, was it $250 for everything that we were getting in that, in that crowdfunding project? Speaking of which, man, they need to give us the details on the next one. I feel like it's been long enough, man. It's been long enough. Go ahead and drop it on us. I'm ready for it hopefully that'll come within the next like month maybe i don't i don't know man who's holding their breath you know not me all right because i'd pass out into the floor however macho man looks pretty good man can't wait to get into the details of the guy see what he looks like up next to the rest and all that different stuff however you guys know how we do we're gonna run through his accessories first then dive into the figure itself look at some comparisons and see what you get when you get your crowdfunded early bird special macho man randy savage figure all right so getting into the accessories that you get with this ultimate edition macho man in the crowdfunding project if you yet haven't gotten yours yet or you just want my opinion on everything that you get here it is in full you get two cloth goods you get two pairs of interchangeable hands, sunglasses, two heads, two different hats, separate headphones, a breakaway table, table cover, two steel chairs, two microphones, two monitors. So you did get a lot here, including the Ultimate Edition figure itself, plus the doink, plus the diesel, plus the entrance, and then you get the ring. So lots of stuff here. I think with the addition of the Macho Man, it really brought it to full value, I do believe. At least that's what I felt. But let's dive into these accessories. Let's start things off with the cloth goods. This jacket is very nice. We saw this similarly with his first Ultimate Edition, right? In the same wave as Edge, right? In the white jacket with the green and black. This is pretty much the same jacket, except it's a softer material. It still has that kind of faux leather feel to it, but it's not quite the same. It's got a little bit more cloth mixed in there, but it is the black and white checkerboard. It's kind of silvery looking. It's not quite white, I, I wouldn't say, but it's not iridescent like it's supposed to be. However, I think it gets the job done. You do get your fringe down here. I, I think that it looks good on the figure. This is nice. I love the jacket. I think it's badass. So I, I'm all good for the jacket. Cloth goods. Macho man on the back. Very sweet. You guys can kind of see what it looks like right there with the kind of shininess to it. The other cloth goods you get is this shirt. It has the same feel as the jacket. It does have the fringe here, which is really nice. I wish they would have done that with all that instead of the triangle cut, but it is Velcroed on the back right there, as you guys can see. And it does have the cool patterns on there, like the nice drippiness going on. Kind of, I don't even know what to even call that pattern, to be honest with you. 
actually. I don't know the full name of it there, but it feels good. It fits the figure well. It even has the side strands right there, kind of similar to like HBK's entrance gear or something like that that we got with the WrestleMania Elite. So this is nice. Very quality. Great stuff to see with the Ultimate Edition. Never complain about that. You also get sunglasses that are checkerboard. They're like silver and black right there. And if you guys wanted to plop this onto the head sculpts, that is what it looks like. It fits very snug. Fits like a glove, honestly, and it looks good on the figure. So I think you'll have no issues with this, but we do get interchangeable sunglasses or removable sunglasses, not interchangeable. You also get two head sculpts, which we've seen before. These are not new. We saw these on the last Ultimate Edition. You only get two head sculpts, but they look good. You know, the beard's good. The smiley's good. It, it looks like Macho Man. I think it's there. The hair's nice. I, I, you know, it gets the job done. I'm not going to critique it too, too hard. I think these are nice. They are reuse, but they are a quality head sculpts. They're not going to change the world, but I didn't have any problems with these before. I like this one probably the best, but you do have the smiling or like kind of grimacing smile there for Macho Man, and it works out for me. As far as interchangeable hands, you do get the white taped hands that are just painted on there. It gets a little messy on this hand, but you have the mic holding hands, and you have your pointing hands. So you get your finger, your finger point, I don't know what the hell I was about to say, but you have your finger pointing hands, a little messy right there, but you have the finger pointing hands for Macho Man. We also have our hat with built-in headphones. Now, this does not, like, pop out or anything. It is all one mold, but you get the silver and black checkerboard, and if you guys wanted to see what this looks like on the figure, you, know, you plop it on there. I think it fits pretty well. You get the mic going around the front. I mean, mic may be a bit oversized, but I think it gets the job done. I think we're looking good here, and, uh, yeah, the, the earphones also, like, blow out there, but I, I think it gets the job done. You know, it's a nice sculpt and everything like that. You also get the hat without the, the microphone in there or the headset in there, and it really is kind of snug. Like, you gotta push that thing on there, but once it's on there, I think, you know, it gets the job done as well. Same checkerboard pattern. I guess technically, like, I guess shooting for the same checkerboard pattern, it's not quite the same. They don't line up exactly the same. It's kind of like the negative opposite, which is a bit weird, but you do get the headset in the hat, and then you get the hat by itself, which is removable. So that's pretty cool. I like that you get options here. You know, you want announcer macho, you want regular macho, and then you have an extra headphone set to put with whoever you want on commentary with macho, and this is a new sculpt. I don't believe we've ever seen this. Like, you get some nice use here. You even get the details in the ear pad. Look at that right there, man. That looks sweet. And, you, you know, you have the crossbar over the top. Nice sculpts going on here. You even have the mic on the front there. Very quality. You know, very, very quality. I think it looks good. I, I mean, it doesn't... It's not gonna go on the Macho Man head just because, you know, he's got the hair going on. I mean, I get you might be able to swing it, but, you know, you can put it around his neck or, or something like that if you wanted to. And then just for a regular, you know, figure, you could stick this on Brock. Looks a bit over sized, but uh, I don't know. It doesn't really hug anybody's head the way I'd like, but you do get the headset accessory. You also get two classic block logo mics here. The classic mics with the silver, you know, the microphone. Then you have the mic cover with the block WWE logo, and then you do have the silver handles, and these are nice. You know, you get two. So I like that they included it. So if you want to have the full setup, you will be able to have the full setup with the extra headgear or the extra mic, and then you do have the extra microphone to fully complete the set. That way you don't have just one, and we're kind of just stuck. I think that's pretty genius by Mattel. Increases the value of the set in, as a whole as well. Outside of that, you also get two black monitors right here with that are hollowed out, but uh, you know these do sit on the table there for your classic announce table setup even though I'm pretty sure we got these with like modern announce tables as well, but I don't think it's the biggest deal, but you do have the painted on screen there and they do have the uh, you know the handles on there that are not operational, but it's still pretty cool that you get this for the full announce table setup. And then for your final accessories, you do get two blue steel chairs here. They're just your regular folding chair. We've, we've seen these multiple times from a lot of figures over the years. They have the pads on there, but you do get your two blue folding chairs, and then you get the breakaway table with the blue cloth cover. This is very similar to the Elite 65 Ronda Rousey, except it was a red table cover. This is just a regular blue table cover, and it slides over the regular breakaway WWE table with the modern logo, but you know, you're supposed to be covering it anyway. Not the biggest deal. You can always get the ringside collectibles version that doesn't have anything on it and has the wood grain if you want a more realistic look but it is breakaway and you you guys know how that works and then you get the cloth cover which is really cool but i do want to set everything up because i want to see exactly what the announce table looks like on camera so you guys can see it so there's kind of what the table looks like with all the accessories on there you know no macho in or, or anything but the chairs fill up nice this is quality you know you do get a lot of stuff going on here here's a little 360 version so you get a lot of nice quality accessories here with the full announce table if they didn't include the announce table set and throw in the macho, I don't know if this thing would have ever hit. You know, I don't think it would have been fully back. But now that we have the 
stands for. We have the foundation, and we saw what all we include with Macho here, man. Let's get into the figure itself, and we'll do some comparisons. So getting into Macho Man himself, man, starting out with the head sculpt. Again, same head sculpt we've seen. You know, it looks good on the figure. I like it. Same torso that we've seen before. Same arms, you know. It's just another Macho white wrist tape. I always feel like his arms are a bit skinny on these Ultimate Editions. I feel like they could uh, increase the size of them, but I guess it's not the biggest deal. It doesn't look too terrible. It just, I, I don't know, it's just a little bit weird, but you do have the white crotch piece. You got the uh, the fringe or whatever you want to say that is painted on there. It doesn't look terrible, though, but we have seen this leg mold before for Macho. One leg, one color, one the other, and then you do have, like, the rips slash tassels going down the sides of each. We've seen that before with different Macho men. We also have the long white boots with the black and silver details on the tongue, and then you get the black laces with the laces on the back. Pretty plain Jane, you know, it's not the most crazy, you know, creative figure ever. However, it is another Macho Man, you know, and it feels good in the hand and all those different things, but I think the main thing is the accessories, and we do get a new Macho Man, you know, so that, that is one thing. But, getting into some Macho Man figure comparisons, we have our Ultimate Edition Macho Man figure comparisons with the Target Exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition Macho Man. You have the Crowdfunder Early Bird Special Ultimate Edition, and then you have the regular Ultimate Edition in the same series as Edge. I think it's Ultimate Edition 8, maybe. Maybe it was 7. I want to say it was 8. But now he has three Ultimate Editions, joining Ultimate Warrior and I believe Hulk Hogan as the other people that have three. I think The Fiend has two. Jeff Hardy has two. And there may be a couple more people with two. Shawn Michaels has two. The Rock has two. John Cena has two. Brock Lesnar has two. So, you know, we've seen, we've seen some people with some repeats. A lot of people actually have had repeats. It is cool to see all three of these up next to each other. And it is cool to see that these are, in fact, different. You know, they're not the exact same. You do get a little bit of, of difference between the two. Yeah, I'm, I, I'd say let's get some new characters and life into the line. And then for the rest of our Ultimate Editions here in the crowdfunding project from WWE Mattel, we have the Diesel from the Crowdfunder New Generation Arena and the Doink Ultimate Edition from the Ultimate Edition New Generation Arena. So it's pretty cool to see all three of these up next to each other. You know, we, we got our first crowdfunder knocked out. I imagine that the next one has to be coming out soon. Not like coming out, but the announcement of the next one has to be coming soon. I mean, I, I just don't see it going any other way. HasLab just announced their next one, so I would love to see Mattel go ahead and announce their next one as well. But it is cool to see all three of these up next to each other. I think out of the three, the Doink's my favorite, then the Macho Man, then the Diesel. I just think the Diesel's a bit plain Jane, and I love the Doink and the Macho Man. I think these are all great, though, and I'm happy that we backed it. I'm glad that we finally have them in our hands and everything like that, man. Really, really awesome, but that is going to wrap up our figure comparisons for this Macho Man. But that pretty much wraps up our Ultimate Edition Macho Man crowdfunded early bird special Macho Man Randy Seven. I don't even know what order and unit of words I just used, man, but it was a lot of them. But I like this figure overall. I think that, you know, with this Macho Man, this Macho Man, I'm gonna call it Savior Macho Man because it saved that crowdfunding project. I think that without this Macho Man and the announce table unit that you get here, wouldn't have came to fruition. I do not think it would have came to fruition. I think that this, this Macho Man was the savior of that, and I'm gonna call it Savior Macho Man Ultimate Edition right there, man. Absolutely. I don't know how many people ordered this that did not end up with the Macho Man. It may, I wanna say it's like less than 100 people ordered this thing after the Macho Man Early Bird Special like time limit ran out, you know? I, I think, I could be wrong about that, but I'm just I'm just telling you my, my thoughts there. However, that is gonna wrap up this review, man. You can't get it from ringside. You gotta pay aftermarket value. I don't know what it's going for. Let me go check that right now just so I can tell you some information. So what I'm seeing here is, I can't even find it, man. Okay, it's looking about 100 bucks, 150 bucks at the time of recording. Could go down, but it's looking like it's the, between 100 and 150. Some people are selling the arena and the Macho Man for 800 together right now. So, woof. Anyways, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on the Macho Man down below. Did you crowdfund it? Do you have it in your grasp? What do you hope the next crowdfunder is? I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. You crossed the line. I've been